In this video tutorial, we will look into how to write asynchronous code in Dart language. We will be using the Dart future class and the Dart async and await keywords. What is asynchronous code? According to Wikipedia, asynchronous programming is a method of um, running a procedure concurrently. And if you ask what concurrency is, concurrency is the ability of a unit of program to be executed out of order or in partial order instead of, you know, running it sequentially. As you all know, um, a program runs sequentially. One of the simplest uh, definition of asynchronous uh, programming or asynchronous operation is uh, to let your program complete work while waiting for another operation to finish. This means if our program has a unit of code that can block the entire um, program from running, what a synchronous operation allow us to do is that we'll let that piece of code to run on the side while um, running the rest of the program without blocking them. Before we uh, look into how to write a synchronous code in Dart, we need to look into what the future class is. According to Dart programming language documentation, a future is used to represent the potential value or error that will be available at some time in the future. This means that if we have a procedure that need to return a certain value, but we are not sure what that value will be in the future, we need to wrap the return type in a future class so that once the procedure finish running, it will return the value or if the procedure did not succeed, it will return an error. According to the documentation, a future class can have two status, that is incomplete and complete status. So when we say incomplete status, it means that our asynchronous function returned incomplete future. That means we are waiting for um, our asynchronous function to complete or the asynchronous function finished running, but it throws an error. The other status is complete status. The complete status is when the uh, synchronous function is successfully complete, completed running and it returned the value. When an asynchronous function completes running, the return type is specified as a type for a future class. That means since our future class is a generic class with type T, if it is successfully completed, the return type is t for example if i have a procedure that returns a string or if it is successful the return type is going to be a string so let's look at a very simple example on how to use the future class first the future class has a method called delayed that we can use to create a future that runs its computation after a delay for example let me create um a simple function so let me call this function print me which is going to print a string and I'm gonna call it print me and this function will return a string printed after a delay so if I wanted this function to return this print statement after three seconds the first thing I need to do is since this is gonna be returned in the future after the function is called I have to wrap the return type into a future class and the type is going to be string then to create a delay we say that we can use one of the future static delayed method future and it is called delayed so the delayed method will take two parameters the first one is how long that you want it to wait for which is duration in seconds and the callback function so the callback function can be um, anonymous function so if i want to print or return that string i can do this and close it like that we all know how to um, return or how to use the fat return type for a simple statement you can do that so that's going to be the anonymous function and we can save it then i will create my main function main and the main function will take or we'll call this future um, 
method print me and let's see um, I wanted to print something after print me say before print me is called and let's run it and see what's going to happen so I'm gonna do dart and main dot dart as you can see before print me is called no actually this is supposed to be after I'm gonna CLS run it again so after print me is called because of the delay function and after the delayed time is completed the print me function is returned the reason why we're not look seeing the result is because the print me function is returning a string so let me store it in a var variable var ret then I'm gonna print this return type after which is actually not a good idea so what we're gonna do is uh, why don't we print it inside the anonymous function just like that and close it there is an error here the reason is because my print me function is not returning anything at this point of time it's printing the result so we don't need to specify a string here we can specify void because we're not returning anything so now we can save this run it as you can see I wait for three seconds then it printed printed after delay message what we can see is that we call the print me function before the print statement inside the main function but since the print me function is delayed what happened is it continued running and it let the uh, print statement execute then once the print me function finished running it printed the result so this is how we can use the future type on an asynchronous function even though this function is not asynchronous yet but that's how we use the future class as a return type for a function as you can see the following program is not asynchronous this means that if I try to use this print me function inside another function I might not even have um, the result printed or the correct result returned to me what do I mean by this so let's change it back as it was before that means I want to return a string like that and the return type is not void anymore so string so now this function is returning a string and I want to call this function inside another function so let me create another function here and this function is going to return st a string and the name of the function is going to be call async fun and I'm going to call the print me function inside this function so what I'm going to do is since the print me function is returning a string I'm gonna store it inside a variable called val and call the print me function then and after this function is returned I want to print something to remind me that I was inside this call async fun so I'll say I was in call async fun and close this statement now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to call the call async func inside the main function so the main function will take the call async func and um, since I said that I'm going to return a string what I need to do is I need to return a string I was instead of printing I'm gonna return but now the result of val need to be printed here too so the result is going to be returned so if I want to use the val value inside a print statement or inside a string I will open two curly braces opening and closing curly braces and then put the value in there and I need to specify a dollar sign in here so instead I will do dollar val that's the return value then the call async function is returning what a string so why don't I print it so instead of storing it in a variable we will print it like that save it now let's recap so I created a future function here the future function is going to be delayed by three seconds and it will call the callback function which returns this string then this future function which is print me is called by another function called call async function so the value of print me is stored in a variable and returned this print me this function call async function will return a string I was in call async function and what the value that is returned from print me function is also printed here then I call this call async function in my main function and since it is returning a string I wanted to print that string then I wanted to print another line after the first one so let's look at the result or what value we're going to get 
when we run the program Let's do clear here and call Darth main Darth. So as you can see, the program is running in a synchronous manner. That means the print me function or the call async function is called first and the return type is not the result but an object. It means that the print me function is not complete and then once this line is finished running, the next line was completed. The reason is because this whole code is not properly ri written to uh, run a synchronous function. So in order to properly get the result from our synchronous function is to use the async and await keywords. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to specify our program that the main function is uh, running a synchronous code. So we need to make it be able to run a synchronous code by putting that sync key before the curly brace like that. Then since we are calling a function that is also running a synchronous function inside it, we need to wait for it to finish that asynchronous running that asynchronous function. So for that reason, we use the await keyword and we also need to do the same thing for our call async function. We need to tell our code that this function is calling a synchronous method or function. So we will do a sync here and then we need to wait for this function to finish running before we actually return the function. So what we're going to do is we will put a wait in here. Since we are now running a synchronous function inside this function, our return type need to be wrapped around the future class it's going to be a string because we're not sure what the return type is going to be until this method complete running. So we save that. Now let's recap. So we have a future function which is delayed by three seconds and after three seconds which returns this statement. This function is called by call a sync function. This is also a synchronous function. That is because we specified a sync here and because we are calling a function that is delayed by three seconds. So we'll wait until this function finishes and it will use the value in the return statement. Then this function is also called inside a print statement within the print domain function. Since a sync function is a synchronous function, call a sync function is a synchronous function. We know that we need to put that sync here before the two curly braces. Then we wait for it until it finishes so that our main function doesn't complete running or doesn't return. Then we will print it. And once it is done, the program finished. Let's test it, run it. As you can see, call async function is returned and the result is printed as you can see here. And then we printed print me called after this. So this is the right way of, you know, using the async and await keyword and the future class to write asynchronous code in Dart programming language.